Hi everyone, welcome to another science revision video. In this video we're going to look at how you can balance a symbol equation for a chemical reaction. In a symbol equation, because of the law of conservation of mass, we need to make sure that all the atoms from the reactants are present in the products. We can't lose any atoms or gain any extra atoms during the reaction. Here I'm starting with one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. These chemicals that I'm starting with are known as my reactants. And the chemical that I end up with is known as my product. I can write a symbol equation for this reaction. I'm starting with C plus O2 and I'm producing CO2. To check this is balanced, I need to count the atoms of each element in the reactants and products. I have one carbon in the reactants and one carbon in the products, which is balanced. I have two oxygens in the reactants and also two oxygens in the products. So this equation is balanced. Sometimes you'll be given an equation which has all the correct formulas in, but is not balanced. For example, this equation has spaces before some of the chemicals for you to write numbers to show how many molecules of each substance you would have. If we start by counting the oxygens on either side, there are two oxygen atoms in the reactants, but there's only one in the products. What I can do to fix this because it isn't balanced is I can put the number two in front of the carbon monoxide. If I've got two molecules of something with one atom of oxygen in, I now have two atoms of oxygen in total. That means the numbers of oxygen in the reactants and the products are now balanced. I'll then move on to checking the carbon atoms and count the carbon atoms in the reactants and products. There's one in the reactants and because I've got two lots of CO, I've now got two in the products. This isn't balanced, but if I put the number two before the carbon in the reactants, I now have two atoms of carbon in the reactants and that will make this balance. Here's an example of a question where you need to balance the equation. I'm starting with lithium and oxygen and I'm producing lithium oxide. I'm going to start this time by counting the number of lithium atoms in the reactants and products. I have one atom of lithium in the reactants and two in the products. This isn't balanced. If I was to put a number two in front of the lithium in the reactants and instead start with two atoms of lithium, I now have two atoms of lithium in the reactants and two in the products. So that's now balanced. If I then look at the oxygen atoms, I'm starting with two oxygen atoms in the reactants, but I only have one in the lithium oxide in the products. If I put a number two in front of the lithium oxide, that means I'll have two molecules of something with one oxygen atom in, so that means I have two atoms of oxygen. The problem with that is I've now got four atoms of lithium in my products, which has now unbalanced the lithiums on either side of the equation. I only have two in the reactants and four in the products. What I need to do is just change that number two in front of lithium to a number four, so that I now have four atoms of lithium in my reactants and my products. It's totally fine to do this, to change the numbers that you've already written once you've changed another element and it's knocked the first one out of balance. Here are some practice questions for you to try. There are two equations to balance. You just need to put numbers in front of the substances that have gaps in front of them. And the final question, Magnesium reacts with oxygen to produce magnesium oxide. You have the formulas there. You need to write the balanced symbol equation for the reaction. So put those symbols into an equation and then balance it. Pause the video and give these a go. For the first one, we have one atom of calcium in the reactants and one atom in the products, so that's already balanced. For the oxygens, we have two atoms in the reactants but only one in the products. This is unbalanced, so we're gonna to need to have two molecules of calcium oxide in the products. That's gonna knock our calciums out of balance, even though it's fixed the oxygens. I now have two atoms of calcium in the products and only one in the reactants. So I'm just gonna to need to add a number two in front of the calcium in the reactants, so that I'll have two atoms of calcium in the reactants and two in the products. This is now balanced out. For the next question, I'm going to start with my sodiums. I have one atom of sodium in the reactants and two in the products. This isn't balanced, so I need a number two in front of the sodium in the reactants. So now I start with two atoms of sodium and I end with two atoms of sodium. 
Then we'll do the oxygens. I'm starting with two atoms of oxygen in the reactants and only one in the products. I'm going to need to have two molecules of sodium oxide so that I'll have two atoms of oxygen to make that balance. The problem is I've now changed the number of sodiums, so I now have four atoms of sodium in the product and only two in the reactants. To fix this, I'm going to have to change that number two that I put before the sodium to a number four. That'll mean I have four atoms of sodium in both the reactants and the products, so it's now balanced. In this last question, the equation is going to be Mg plus O2 produces MgO, but this isn't balanced. In my reactants, I have one atom of magnesium, and in the products, I have one atom. Looking at the oxygens, I have two atoms of oxygen in the reactants and only one in the products. So I'll need to have two molecules of magnesium oxide so that I have two atoms of oxygen in the products. This unbalances the magnesium. I've now got two in the products, one in the reactants. So I need to put the number two before the magnesium in the reactants. Then I'll have two magnesiums in the reactants, two in the products, and the equation is balanced. Thank you for watching. I hope the video was helpful for you and I hope to see you in the next one.